This startup just raised $10 million with an app built entirely without code. And I want you to be able to do the same. So in this video, I'll be sharing their story and telling you the tools they use to build a multi-million dollar business. My friends, we are living in some of the most exciting times. There are these no code platforms that allow you to build apps and websites with no code. And that's exactly what these two founders used to launch a million dollar startup. So how did they do it? And what are the three important lessons that you can take away to use for your next startup? Now the company is called Cure and it's founded by Jules and Hugo who are both Frenchmen. And at the time they were living in New York and working at e-commerce startups. And the birth of this company really started off of one piece of important insight that most of us are lacking important nutrients and we don't even know what we need. And that's why these two got together to build a personalized subscription for supplements. Now, funny enough, this was actually a model that was already working really well in the US market, and they simply decided to do it in Europe. And of course, had to adapt it a little bit to the cultural differences that they might find between the US and Europe. So how did they go about it in the early days? Well, they started off with a smoke test. You see, Jules was actually the son of a doctor and nutritionist, but through a friend had discovered this platform, it's a no-code platform, it's called Bubble. Now Bubble is a platform that allows you to drag and drop, build a pretty complex software with no-code tools. And with the basic knowledge he had, he chose to build a prototype. And he was actually able to build this in just one weekend. Wait, what, just one weekend? Yep, that's right. The only thing that this prototype could actually do was that it was a page that described the offer and then it allowed you to fill out a questionnaire and it would provide you with some recommendations on which supplements you should get. But at that point, you couldn't even buy the supplements yet. So it was really just a test to see if there was demand. And so they decided to actually launch a funnel that would test how well this offer would do in the market even before going out there and building the whole company. And lo and behold, just by testing that offer with a small funnel, they actually realized that the conversion was really good that they were getting a lot of people to actually sign up for this service. And that's the point at which they chose to dedicate three months to really go hard and see whether or not they were able to get first paying customers. And after all, after three months, if it didn't work out, they could always go find another job. In fact, they also shared that they were quite broke, so that's why they gave themselves a three month time limit, because if not, they'd have to go back and get a job. So with just three months to take action, they started building the Cure brand, they sourced some products that they could sell, and they created some custom packaging for their offer. But Cure's personalization with these supplements allowed them to not be able to just use a e-commerce store to be able to sell their products. They actually needed a recommendation engine. And that's when they were really faced with this problem of, should we hire an engineer to build out this first MVP? Or should we try and continue building it out with Bubble? And because at this point, Jules was enjoying building inside Bubble, they decided to go the do-it-yourself route. And over another short hackathon weekend, Jules was actually able to build out the first recommendation engine using Bubble's workflows. And at the end of those three months, they finally landed their first paying subscriber, a 30-day subscription to their product, which meant that Jules had only 30 days to build out the next version for renewals. And so the power of no code allowed Cure to actually actually quickly build, test, and improve the experience for their customers very quickly. And by the way, if you're looking to launch a startup, but you don't know how to code, then you can check out our free course below that'll teach you the six steps to launch your startup with no code tools. Now back to the story. With the first sale under their belt, Jules and Hugo were able to continue to invest their time and money into this startup. And after passing the six month mark, they were able to raise a million dollars from first investors. And with this new cash to start investing in the startup, they built a team and were faced with the big question, should we hire a chief technology officer? And at this point, they made the decision that because Jules was able to only spend 25% of his time on the building side of things, he actually had plenty of time to continue running the business as well. And so they decided to not hire a CTO and to continue moving forward with no code tools. Instead, they chose to invest that money into a logistics center. They continued to fine tune their product to personalize these recommendations for the people who were subscribing and these changes allowed them to grow to $100,000 in monthly revenue, at which point they raised $10 million from an investment firm called Capagro. And today the company has more than 30 employees and has more than 100,000 customers around the globe. So what are three lessons we can learn from this success story that you can use for your next startup? Number one is the power of no code. Not just at the very early stages when you're testing, building prototypes, but also for building your MVP 
and for scaling. In fact, today they still use Bubble for their front end and they have many people in their team who are enabled with these no-code tools. Number two is that investors don't care as much about what technology you're using to build your startup as the revenue that you're generating. So if you're under the illusion that no code is not accepted by investors, then think again, this is widely accepted. And number three is to take radical action. Give yourself a deadline, go and launch it. You will only know whether or not your startup has potential once you go in front of customers, test that value proposition or the offer, then build a first MVP that'll get you to revenue. And then from there, you're gonna be able to grow, build a team around it. And if you don't believe you can build big businesses with no code, then check out this startup who generated $3 million with no code tools. So stop procrastinating and start building the business of your dreams. Let's go.